Dear students, now we are going to discuss standing wave ratio and its relation with reflection coefficient. Standing wave ratio is defined as the ratio of the magnitudes of the maximum voltage to minimum voltage on a transmission line which is having the standing waves. It is represented as S yes, that is equal to the modulus of V max to V min. It is also known as VSWR. Okay, so VSWR means voltage standing wave ratio. It can also be represented using current terms that is modulus of I max to I min. In general, we are using VSWR as a measurement parameter. Okay, so next we are going to derive the formula for this standing wave ratio. For that, we can use the voltage equation for dissipation less line. We have already derived the voltage equation for zero dissipation line in the previous lecture video. We are going to use that equation directly over here. So voltage equation for dissipation less line is given as V is equal to VR into EZR plus R0 divided by 2 EZR into e power j beta x plus k e power minus j beta x. Here k is the reflection coefficient. Okay. So next we are going to consider the magnitude of maximum voltage on the line. So here we can take the modulus of V maximum that is equal to take the modulus value for this expression modulus of Br into EZR plus R0 divided by 2 EZR into modulus of e power j beta x plus modulus k modulus of e power minus j beta x. As we all know that modulus of e power j beta x as well as modulus of e power minus j beta x both are equal to 1. Okay, so we can substitute this values here. Then we can get the magnitude of the maximum voltage as Br into EZR plus R0 by 2 EZR into 1 plus modulus of K. That is the first equation. Similarly, we can get the voltage minimum value. So, there is only one difference between this maximum and minimum. Here in this maximum, we can have the plus sign. Here in this minimum, we can have the minus sign. So, 1 minus modulus K. So, that is what V minimum value. So, consider that as the second equation. So next we are going to substitute this V max and V min values in the standing wave ratio formula. What is standing wave ratio? S is equal to V max by V min. So substitute V max and V min values in this formula. Then we can get modulus of Vr EZR plus R0 divided by 2 EZR into 1 plus modulus K divided by modulus of Vr EZR plus R0 by 2 EZR 1 minus K. Then these two values are cancelled. Okay, we can get the standing wave ratio S is equal to 1 plus modulus of K divided by 1 minus K. This is the standing wave ratio formula. It is very, very important one. Okay, here this K value is EZR minus EZ0 divided by EZR plus EZ0. Next, relation between SWR and reflection coefficient. So here S in terms of K. Next step. We are going to find out K in terms of S. So for that we can simply cross multiply this value. We can get S into 1 minus modulus of K is equal to 1 plus K. Then multiply this S inside this. We can get S minus S into K is equal to 1 plus K. Move this K value towards this direction. So here S minus 1 that is equal to K. This minus becomes plus here. So plus S into K. K is the common term here. We can take it outside. So, K into S plus 1. So, what we are going to find out? The reflection coefficient in terms of S. So, we can move this S plus 1 to this side as a denominator. So, here modulus of K is equal to S minus 1 divided by S plus 1. Do you all understand? So, this is also very very important relation. So, next we can get the reflection coefficient value in terms of maximum and minimum voltage. For that, we can use the formula S is equal to what? V max by V min. 
So we can replace this S with the term V max by V min here. We can take this minimum voltage as a common one in the numerator and denominator values. Then this term becomes V max minus V min divided by V min. The whole divided by V max plus V min divided by V min. Then we can divide these two values. Okay. Finally, we can get modulus of K that is reflection coefficient is equal to V max minus V min divided by V max plus V min. So this is also an important formula. Standing wave ratio S is equal to 1 plus modulus of K divided by 1 minus modulus of K. Its value ranges from 1 to infinite. Reflection coefficient k is equal to s minus 1 divided by s plus 1. So its value ranges from 0 to 1. It can also be written as v max minus v min divided by v max plus v min. These three formulas are very very important. We are going to solve problems using these formulas in the next video lecture. Okay. Finally, the diagrammatic representation of relation between reflection coefficient and standing wave ratio. If the standing wave ratio increases, then the reflection coefficient can also be increased up to this value 1. Okay, then it can maintain the value as 1. Okay.